Hey. Hey, well, hey, that's not really doing it. Opening up that Bible will do it, though. Yeah, you're right. Pro proving the Most High's name. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Hey. But uh, better to go in the house of morning. Hey, Jesus is the name of Satan. Jeremiah 23 and 13. I, uh, I was given a mark by the Most High God. And uh, basically had people try to shut me out uh, just to tell this story. But uh, just tell me if you came from there. Do you see a face in the forehead? Yes, I do. All right, cool. All right. Revelations 22 and 4, you just seen, man. 44 seconds. Hey, but we at the bakery and a restaurant, and uh, these people are at rest. You know, we out here distressed and, you know, uh, trying to tell people. <laughs> I was all like, I love them more, you know. No greater love than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. And we ain't talking the military. We know the real world is out here. You know, when you don't get three meals and a cot, and, uh, you know, that's the thing, man. At the end of the day, the most highest truth is sustained quality. It, he doesn't lie. He's always true. Remember. <laughs> Remember. You know? So I'm going to bring out a scripture real quick, because just to explain how I got this, uh, Wisdom, she's more beautiful than the sun. So, uh, we try to explain 144 on the screen. So, while well, these people get the, you know, they get to ride nice and have nice dinners, you know, we get to warn people. Of, uh, basically, what's going on? They, they stuck, you know? You know what I just showed them? How they're stuck, you know? Show them the face and the forehead. And uh, it's Revelations 22 and 4. You can see this thing from a distance then. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to share Job 28 and 1. But that's right. Uh, it's just really, you can't. You, just, you go with the spirit, really. Call Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh I want it. I praise the Most High in the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit. I want it to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. So I want to the hopeful elect and the elect scattered abroad. Job 36, 15. I start at 14. They die in youth, and their life is among the unclean. He delivereth the poor in his affliction, and openeth their ears in oppression. You know, even so, would he have removed thee out of the strait into a broad place? You know, what's that broad place? I only know because I've been there. Where there is no straightness, and that which shall be set on my table shall be full of fatness. But thou hast fulfilled the judgment of the wicked, judgment and justice take hold on me. Because there is wrath, beware, you should take thee away. Uh, actually, this is what this is. This is what it is. Listen. Because there is wrath, beware, you should take thee away with a stroke. Then a great, great ransom cannot deliver thee. Will he esteem thy riches, no, not gold, nor all the forces of strength. Desire not the night when people are take, when people are cut off in their place. Take heed, re regard not inequity, but this as thou chosen rather than affliction. So there's something about it's better to be poor and rich and afflicted because another poverty but thou art rich. So this is that sustained quality the most I'll be talking about to give us an expected end. We're just but we're really supposed to just prepare to die. We really we're supposed to be pulling out of these jobs. Uh, that's just what it be. Hey man, you guys talk? Uh, all right, let's see. We fishing out here. Uh, can you see? Before you look at this picture, can you see a mark in my forehead? 
like a Harry Potter. Oh, you the dude who got stabbed, right? No. No? Oh, okay. No. Uh, so somebody told me about a, uh, it was like a while, a while back, but some dude got stabbed in the head and came back. He was at the 7-Eleven. Oh, uh, well. What was it? You ever seen Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. Got a, like a mark on my forehead. Yeah. yeah. Took a picture with uh, Snapchat one day, and there's like a face on my forehead. You see it? Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's all throughout scriptures. Like I'm just gonna go a couple pages over. Like no, one page over. Job 29, and uh, I'll start at verse one. Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, "Oh, that I were in months past, as in the days when." The Most High Yahweh, the Most High God preserved me when his candle shined upon my head, going back to Isaiah 60 and 1, and when by his light I walked through darkness. Um, I was as in the days of my youth when the secret of the Most High God was upon my tabernacle. How about you need anything to drink though? Because I was about to head to the gas station. Hey, that'd be cool, man.